take a look at this code here. It's not the best. Um, there's a few things that I would probably pick up on the pull request. You can see that there's strange spacing here. Um, there's multiple imports on the same line as well. And we've also got things broken over lines in some places and not in others and things like that. So if I were to open this up as a pull request on a team, I'm sure um, previous colleagues would probably have something to say about it. And I don't think it would be favorable. And this sort of stuff actually takes a lot out of our day. It takes a lot of developer cycles. We go back and forth on the way code should be formatted and it can develop into heated arguments. So I'm going to show you how you can do something about this with a tool called Black. So Black is an uncompromising code formatter. It's the way it's, it's described for Python. So if I pull it up here, in fact here, um, you can see its description here. So it says you seed control over a mini show of hand formatting. In return, gives you black gives you speed, determinism, and freedom. And I've used black a lot on projects in the past, and it really does make the world a difference when you're doing writing a lot of codes and you want to get through things. Anyway, so this code at the moment, you can see it actually just goes off to my website and pulls in a load of links. So if I run it, I've already got requests installed and I'm running it through um, pipenv, which is my package manager of choice. And you can see there's a load of links that return. Great, okay, so our code actually works. It does something, but it looks horrid. So let's install black. So black is currently in beta, hence the pre that I've had to use here. But it's generally considered like one of the best tools. I don't know, it's been in beta for a long time. So yeah. And obviously it's a development dependency, so. And so we can just call black against our script here. Black script. And it's reformatted it. And this looks a lot better. So our dictionary is all on one line. We've got no weird line breaking going on and it looks a lot better. Now if you go back to what it looked like before and save it again, uh, we can actually see in another tool uh, that I've got, which is PyCharm, which is an IDE, what it looks like there. So PyCharm gives us a few more hints about things that look wrong. So it's telling us straight out of the box that we should be doing something about these things. And that's quite a nice thing that PyCharm has straight away. Um, but we can uh, get VS Code to do something similar. We just need to go into the settings and look for the Python code formatting. So the editor doesn't have any default format at the moment. And we have options for black and some other tools. So we could default to using something other than black if we wanted. So auto pep ape or uh, yet another Python formatter. But black's the one that I use by default. So I want to use that. At the moment, this isn't set to do anything on save though, so we need to enable another setting. So if we set it to format on save, it should format our Python when we save it. So let's put an extra space in. And we can see VS Code's very handily reformatted this. And there's a load of other tools that you can use to um, format your code. Uh, Autopep is another one. 
and um, I sort is a good one for sorting the imports. You'll notice that these are a little out of order at the moment. So we've got this formatted code with black, looks great. And our code should just run exactly the same as it did before. So it's no functional changes, it does the same thing, but it looks a lot better. So there's some integrations that you can use for integrating um, black with your revision control system. So if you're using Git, then you can use um, black with that. And if you're using GitHub, you can use it with that as well. So black's actually got this uh, recommended pre-commit hook. So you can have it configured in your repository. And then every time you save, black will reformat your code um, before it's committed. So what I've used quite often in the past is um, it's on a GitHub action. So you can run um, black on a pull request. And something that I also do is that we check whether or not basically black has been adhered to. So it's been run against the source code. So you can reject anything that is being used um, that isn't that hasn't been formatted black. So if, if uh, that's using um, the black check command, in fact, yeah, it is. It's just double dash. Okay, yeah, so it returns the appropriate status code, so everything's there. So if I go back here and have this unformatted, that when I check this script, in fact, actually, it's because I've automated saving there. Um, so let's, let's save it <laughs> without uh, VS Code. And now let's check it. And it says, oh no, one file will be reformatted. So this would allow us to block um, it on a pull request so we don't get any badly formatted code with our PR. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that and learning how to use it. Um, let me know your thoughts below and I will see you in the next one.